It's Good News with Gary, featuring University of Akron President Gary L. Miller. Hi, everyone. Here's some good news from the University of Akron. Here's some very exciting news that will have a tremendous impact not only on the UA community, but also on the city of Akron. The John S. and James L. Knight Foundation, one of Akron's greatest and most generous champions, announced recently that it'll invest $20 million to support UA's work to transform the Polsky Building into a downtown arts and academic destination. This project is part of our larger reimagining of how an urban university and its city work together to create community and economic prosperity. The university will use the Knight Foundation funding to open the interior of the building to invite people into a space that features new and dynamic configurations of architecture, programming, and technology. The vision for the space includes entrepreneurship, community collaboration, artistic performances, and learning. Our intent is that all of UA's colleges will be represented in some form in the building, and we are very excited about this internal collaboration. The University of Akron will rename the building for the Knight Foundation and the Knight Brothers to signal the transformational change in the city. In the coming months, we'll announce more news about this tremendous opportunity. I also want to note that Knight's investments in the UA community extended to the National Center for Choreography, which is based at the university. The center was gifted $1.5 million to support the initial five years of the NCC Akron Choreography Prize. This new initiative will honor local artistic talent and establish an endowment for ongoing operations. We're deeply grateful to the Foundation for its legacy of visionary investments in public spaces and civic initiatives in Akron. I'm really proud to share the news that UA's episode of the College Tour is now available for viewing, and it's a must-watch if you love the University of Akron. The College Tour is an Emmy-nominated TV series that provides an inside look at college campuses across the country. UA's episode introduces viewers anywhere in the world to the University of Akron through the lens of diverse undergraduate students. Ten students are featured in individual segments, each telling their authentic story in their own words. I want to thank the cast and the crew of College Tour, UA's University Communications and Marketing staff, the UA facilities crew members who made campus shine on camera, and particularly the students who shared their UA experiences with the world. Please watch the episode now on your YouTube channel and share it with anyone who might be interested in the University of Akron. Finally, congratulations to UA student athlete and Army National Guard member Jalen Knight. Jalen got some excellent news last week when he learned he would be getting a car through Progressive Insurance's Keys to Progress program, which provides veterans with reliable transportation. A Progressive representative met with Jalen and his family last week in UA's Mussen Military Veterans Lounge in Infocision Stadium, where they were happily surprised to learn he was receiving a vehicle. Jalen is a wide receiver for the Zips football team who studies sports business and has a job with the LeBron James Family Foundation. He plans to graduate in December. Congratulations, Jalen, and thank you for your service. Well, that's some of the recent good news from the University of Akron. I hope to see many of you Friday and Saturday for some of the homecoming and family weekend events. Please join me soon for another Good News with Gary podcast. Welcome back and go Zips. Go Zips!